Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. This is my Traxxas TRX4 Bronco 2021. A uh, huge fan of Broncos. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know that already. Had a previous TRX4 Bronco uh, that I'd put a 73 Bronco body on and um, enjoyed that rig quite a bit. Uh, put it through its paces. Um, I think the TRX4 chassis is one of the better ones out there. Uh, Axial, Element, uh, Red Cat, HPI. You gotta do things to them uh, to keep the uh, durability up. But uh, I ran the Traxxas TRX4 chassis bone stock and had no issues and I put it through its paces. I had a high performance uh, electronic system in it. Uh, ran it at high speeds over rocks, through water, you name it never had any kind of failure whatsoever so um, you know I'm not saying the TRX4 platform is the best performance out there uh, but I will say that for the average guy who just wants something to run uh, it's it's your it's your chassis so anyway obviously this uh, I'm not gonna go over everything that are on a hundred other videos out there but obviously this body looks amazing I have plans for it. I've got a hobby wing axe system uh, that's going in it. Got some aluminum wheels, Proline tires. Plan to put a reef servo in it. Uh, and then I also plan to put a reef servo winch in this uh, vehicle. As you can see, I've already removed the uh, front bumper portion that has a winch on it. Here it is right here. It's just an addition that bolts off. Uh, not a lot of coverage on that, but you can take it right off the front of it and there's ample room you know what let me pause the video i'll show you what i'm talking about okay pulled the body off wanted to show you guys uh this is the uh the new bumper system for uh the bronco with the extra winch portion removed um this is the winch portion that i pulled off the front of it um it sits yeah like this right here and I pulled the fair lead off. It is, uh, it is plastic, but it's chromed plastic. And it seems to be that you could easily mount that right here, cut a slit in that bumper, and then uh, mount a servo winch right here. Uh, here is size comparison of the front bumper hole to the original servo. And I have set a dummy servo in here, and obviously one fits. And the spool is right in line with that slit right there. So I don't see why a servo winch cannot be mounted in here relatively easily. Um, this mount is a little bit wide for the tabs on a servo. So I, it, it is a little bit more complicated than just drilling in and threading holes here. I, I'm going to take a piece of Delrin or a piece of uh, plexiglass and cut me out a, a servo mount and then bolt that down to this uh, plastic bumper mount. And then once I do that, it should be straightforward. Just mount the servo winch, make sure I line the, uh, uh, the spool up, uh, cut a slit here, make sure that I've got a pathway for the line, and I have double checked. And yes, the body will slip on and off, and there's ample room back here for a servo. So adding a servo winch should be relatively easy. Uh, prior to this coming in, I did not realize they had changed the way the bumper mounts. I've got the adjustable TRX4 uh, bumper mount right here. You can find these on eBay, uh, no name brand. And that is a axial bumper mounted to it with a fair lead in it. I had on another rig and I, un unfortunately, if I mount this in there, uh, there's no way to attach this bumper to it uh, without uh, creating some sort of post in this bumper. That is a thought though. But that does put the servo further back than what I want it. And now I really want to put my battery up here on this tray. So I think modifying this existing uh, 2021 Bronco uh, bumper mount is the way to go to mount a servo winch in there. But anyway, we'll see how that turns out. Not a lot more to talk about. I'm not going to bore you with all the stock electronics and the clip system that's been covered on 100 videos. Just uh, wanted to catch you guys up where I'm at. 
looking forward to getting uh, rolling on this. As you can see, here's my few things I've got over here. The axe system, got a uh, set of wheels, and I uh, hope to have my Proline tires here soon so that way we can get all this stuff installed and see how it all turns out. But um, I do plan on um, running the axe system at 7.4 volts BEC soon. That way the winch and the reef servo I put in here will be uh, optimal. But I won't be able to do that until I either remove all the shift servos or replace them with high voltage ones because the Traxxas stock servos are only rated at six volts. And if you run 7.4 volts to your receiver, you're gonna burn these up. So. Uh, that, that's another thing I've got in the future. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to upgrade those servos, either that or run a separate BEC at 6 volts and power the receiver in these servos and then run uh, the RX bypass to the uh, servo winch and servo that I want to run at 7.4. That's the other option. But since these servos tend to burn up anyway, I think replacing them is the way to go. I want to remove this battery tray here eventually. Uh, since I only plan to use the bumper, uh, or not bumper, but the uh, battery mount up here. I, I run these uh, batteries here in my crawlers. Uh, they're super cheap. I think around 20 bucks a pack. And then um, they do everything you need them to do. They're light. And you can pretty much run all day on these things. Even though it's a 2200 milliamp, um, it does the job. And it fits perfectly up here in the front. I'm not going to worry about strapping it in right now, but it sits like that, and then you strap it in, and you got a forward biased weight balance on the, as far as putting the battery in. And um, a little bit high CG, but um, it's way better than sitting back here at the same level as this, further back in the chassis. That'll do it for this video, guys. As always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends, and have a great day.